CBS News' Suzanne Lemignot is live in Lombard, where she's speaking to businesses about those changes. Suzanne. You know, business owners we spoke to here along St. Charles Road say they have been waiting for this moment for a very long time, and they really are hoping that the transition is going to be easy. I'll give you one for sure. Becky Boylick is the owner of the pet store Rough Life here in Lombard. Boylick says while the mask mandate has been in place, she's consistently followed the guidelines at her business. My primary job is to serve my community, and serving my community means helping people feel comfortable in that community. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Boylick says news of the mask mandate being lifted on February 28th by the governor brings a mix of emotions for her. Well, there's a feeling of relief, but there's also a feeling of apprehension because one of the things I've noticed throughout the course of this is that people kind of forget their manners and they forget how to treat other people. We all have to get through this together and we need to come back together again. As a physician. Dr. Bruce McNulty is the chief medical officer at Swedish Hospital. He shared his thoughts on the lifting of the mask mandate. Things are definitely improving and heading in the right direction. Um, and, and so I understand how um, the governor very much would like to allow people to get back to some normalcy. Just to make sure. McNulty says as a physician, he would still like people to remain cautious when it comes to COVID-19 and wearing masks. I don't believe that this wave is over yet. Um, I don't believe this wave will be over at the end of February. I wish it was. Um, so, you know, I'll be watching the case numbers as everyone will, and the governor's using um, the experts that he has around him to try and pick a date that he believes that this will be safer. Now, Dr. McDonald says the best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is to get the vaccination and the booster. He says many people think the third dose isn't important, but he says research does show it really is. In Lombard, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, our thanks. Here's why the governor is loosening the rules. Less than 2,500 people in Illinois are in hospitals right now with COVID-19. Less than a month ago, more than 7,000 people were hospitalized. That's the fastest rate of decline since the pandemic began. And in Chicago, take a look at this number. Test positivity rate now 2.9%. Just last week, it was 4.4%.